Hi everyone, it's Deb from Book Lovers Gourmet. I wanted to show you our featured artist show this month. It, it is the work of local artists Pam and John Reddick who are from Webster, Mass. And they are featuring their paintings this month. You can come and see them anytime during our regular business hours. Tuesday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturday from 10 to 4. And we're located at 72 East Main Street in Webster. So first, I'll introduce you to John Reddick, whose paintings are behind him. Um, they're acrylic on masonite, and ocean and sunsets are the theme for this show. So John, tell us a little bit about your process of the painting, and then also a little bit about your inspiration. Sure. Um, I think my inspiration is from nature mostly. Um, I love to go to the ocean, and I love forests and mountains, although I don't have any of my mountain work here. But what I have here is basically based on ocean themes and also on sunset themes. So the ocean themes are blue and white. I actually use acrylic on... Uh, I used to use masonite. But lately what I've been doing is I've been painting it on birch panel, which is actually kind of like a wooden box that's made out of birch. And I allow the paint to flow on the paint, on the uh, surface. It's a very liquid kind of paint. It's acrylic and it kind of runs around and pours and it makes interesting designs. It's almost like um, if you think about an accident when you spill paint, you get interesting uh, effects and I'm really using that principle mostly is the effects of what the liquid paint does when it all mixes together um, and then um, besides mixing it ahead of time and pouring it then it's a process of manipulating the paint while it's still wet and it, when it's flat it's a matter of tipping it and then I use brushes sometimes to sort of coax the paint you know or if, if the ocean is kind of uh, going where it's not supposed to, I might have to go through and sort of correct it. But it's, it's allowing the paint to kind of be itself. Um, and then, <clears throat> so when you see, you, you get the paint, you can kind of see how the paint is mixing through here. And then I would do an overall painting, but then sometimes I'll look at it and go, well, that's nice, except I think I need something more to go on at the top. So up in the top part, I actually use the hand brush painting in a traditional sense, which is not really what I normally do, but I've learned that you can use a little brush and go back and paint waves the way probably most other artists would. Um, but if these are blue and white, mostly, of course, and then you can see the sunset color here based on either sunrises or sunsets. And they're very fun to do, and you a lot of times you don't really know what you're going to get. And uh, if something doesn't work, you just get up the next day and try again, and then you'll be lucky and maybe get something you like. Okay, thank you. So the theme of this month's show is We Shall Overcome. And I'll let Pam Reddick talk about the inspiration and the thinking behind that subject. Pam is also um, a painter and she has acrylic paintings here, mostly of trees and nature. So Pam, if you can tell us a little bit about your thinking of the theme for this show. Okay, well this year has been a year in which there's been a lot of stuff to overcome. And some of it is political, some of it is climate oriented, and I've had a personal issue myself to deal with. So if you want to see the political art, there's a you see what I really think, you can look at my political art. And then these two paintings were done a couple of years ago. And throughout my life I've been an artist and I developed a very detailed style that required a lot of patience. And then one day, all of a sudden, I couldn't see right. And I couldn't see straight lines, and I was seeing double out of one eye. So I went to the eye doctor, and they told me that I had macular degeneration. And 
there's treatments for it and the treatments have been working but in so doing I had to decide whether I wanted to relearn how to paint because it was it was like when you break your leg you have to start over and figure out how to do those things so I'll show you some paintings that I did while I was learning how to paint okay so this is the first painting that I was able to do that looked to me like a work of art. You can see that the style is way different than the previous work. And I said to myself after I saw this, well, maybe there's a future for me still in doing art. And this painting, this is the, the third painting that was done on this board. So the, the first two weren't good. It was like I'm an amateur artist all over again, and I didn't like that feeling. It was pretty scary, but I persisted. And I did this one on top of another painting that I had done in my process of learning how to redo artwork. And I thought, okay, that's something I could appreciate. I like to look at that painting. And then my style got more detailed and I was happier with the work I was doing. And then finally I got to this piece where I really wanted to do this painting for a specific show and it was juried and I put everything I had into doing this painting. It's um, the Great Cedar Swamp in Wellfleet, Mass. And I think that because I couldn't see as well as I once did, the reflections actually came out better. There's an unintentionality about them that I think is, it's a good thing about having to deal with issues. So I guess the lesson to be learned is keep at it and hopefully we shall overcome all these problems that we have to deal with. This is a painting that I brought here because Debbie and I did it together with Laura Breck and we worked on this, oh, it was probably 10 years ago, and what we did was individual pieces that were divided out and we sent the pieces home with the three artists and then when we brought what we had worked on and put it together, it was like, wow, we were amazed. <laughs> and it, it, it looks good here in the bookstore and I'm happy that it is out someplace where people can see it. So come on down and look at the art at Book Lovers Gourmet. Thank you.